Hello everyone, uh, my name is Nitin and I'm going to be showing you today how you can build user-defined directives, also known as custom directives, that allow you to create custom data transformation functions within CDAP data prep, or also known as Wrangler. Um, in spite of CDAP coming up with a comprehensive uh, directives for transforming your data, there are some cases or some use cases in which you would like to build your own custom directives. So today I'm going to be showing you how you can do that. In order to help with building custom directives, uh, we provide an example repo. Uh, it's under Hydrator, example directive. We would be just cloning this particular directive to get started with. So let me go ahead and do that first. So now that I have cloned the repo, uh, let me go within the, the directory. And as you can see, it's a standard Maven project with the POM file already included. So let me go ahead and explore this project a little bit um, and see what is being provided within the project. So I am going to load this project within an IDE. As you can see, this is a standard Maven project. It has a POM file that is being provided, everything pre-configured. There are the dependencies that are required in order to build a directive. There are only three. All these will be provided by the platform itself. There is actually a dependency on Wrangler test. That's a testing framework for testing your directives. And then you have other dependencies as, as you see fit for uh, your own directive. So let's go and look at what are the directives that we have in this example. So this example has two directives. One is a row hash uh, directive and a text reverse directive. Let's explore what it is made up of. So every directive implements a directive interface, which requires you to override three methods, define, initialize, and execute. <clears throat> and all these notations are standard and are required for defining a directive. The plugin type because each directive is a type of a plugin you basically specify the type of plugin being as directive you need to have the name for the directive in this case it's called text reverse which is also the plugin name and you provide a short description for it so let's go ahead and look at what these three different methods do the first method define allows you to define the usage of the your directive right it basically tells the compiler how it needs to pass the directive that the user issues. So there are many different types, token types that are being supported. One is the column name. Then you have text fields, numeric, Boolean. Um, you can also have expression, list of strings, list of numbers, list of Booleans. There are many different token types that are being supported by the system. This method is called during the configuration phase of this directive. So it's called only once. And as you can see, you cannot throw any exceptions. Generally, we try to keep this very lightweight because uh, we don't want to have uh, heavy lifting being done as part of definition of a directive. The second method that you need to override is initialize. Once the compiler parses the directive issued by the user, it gets transformed into arguments and it's called just before uh, starting the execution of records. Um, it's called only once, so you at this point you have to extract all the arguments that are being passed by the user into your local class variables. And then once you have that, execute gets called on all the records that are being passed through. Um, you can use the arguments that were provided by the user to make decisions here. Um, this is a very simple directive that reverses a, essentially a string within a column. So let me go ahead and build this. I'm going to use, because it's a standard Maven project, I'm just going to issue a Maven clean package. Um, this is going to go through and build the project as well as um, perform all of the tests. In this specific one, um, it'll gen it's going to be generating an artifact, which is essentially a jar. So it has a jar file um, that has all the plugins and its dependencies, as well as a JSON configuration file. So the next step here is to load this particular plugin to CDAP. So in order to do so, I'm going to use the plus button here, click on the plugin and 
take the jar specify the JSON and you upload it now that I have uploaded the artifact which is essentially of type plugin um, I can go into data prep and so as you can see this you can it basically has the the text reverse already loaded um, as part of it um, so I can specify the text reverse name which is essentially I want to reverse all the text within this so I can do that if I do it again text reverse uh, give name it should come back to how it was so this doesn't do much but it shows that the directive that you just built that was loaded in was made available as part of it if you go and delete this directive and go here and reload the page you see now the directives are not applicable because you have included a directive that doesn't match you might have to reload the file so it's a very simple way for building and deploying and managing your directives and there's a those are made available dynamically within your environment um, this feature is still being built I uh, just wanted to give you guys all a sneak peek of um, how this would work uh, if you guys have any comments or questions please feel free to reach back out to us um, until then we'll keep working and you keep working too thank you